Hello everyone, welcome to Ivy's YouTube channel. My name is Ashani and today I'm going to take you through one of the new dynamic array functions that Excel introduced. So today we will talk about this function called unique. Like the name suggests, the work of unique is to do the similar work as remove duplicate used to do for us. But now we really don't have to copy paste the columns on the other side, select them and then delete and create a row. We can dynamically just refer to the column which we want and we can create a dynamic, uh, the unique list from it. First, let's look at what are the various syntax that is there for unique function. And then we will see different applications of unique. So first, if you see there is a first thing that is required is called an array. So array could be uh, one particular column. It could be a particular table, depending on whose unique values are we looking for. So if you are looking for uh, only one single column, then array would be one column or one row. And if you're looking for a combination, then the array would be more than one column or one row. Then the second thing that is there is by column. Now by column is used and this is a very interesting feature because typically we have been working every time in a column. We take a column and then we find the unique values. This unique function can also work on a row. So if I have a row and I want to find the unique values of a row, I simply have to go and make it false. And the third concept is, and the third input is exactly once. So what does this mean is typically if I have a list and there is a repetition of certain values. So in this case, if I simply use unique, I will get the in output as A, B, and C. But if I use the last portion of unique, which is exactly once, then I will only be getting the values, which is only occurring once in the list. Not the unique, not the remove duplicate kind of a thing, but I'll only get C as an answer because that's the only value which is occurring only once in this particular list. So let's get started. First, let me show you the basic functionality of unique. So let's say if we wanted to find out unique list of our customers, how we will do it. We will click on unique and all we are going to work with this time is the array. So I'm going to select the entire array and press enter. And there you go. We have got the customer and the unique list of the customer. Now, if I wanted to count how many customers are there, then I can simply use a count function inside account, not account function, account a function. And inside account function, I can use the function of unique and select my entire column. And once I've done that, I am getting 15 unique customers are there really. So this is like a basic work of unique function. Let's move on to the second one. Like we were talking about the second argument in unique function that is by column. Right now, if you look at the data, I have got sales rep in a row and there's repetition in the row. Now, two things we'll look at. Number one, we want to see that, okay, if I have a row and I want a unique list in a row only, then how do we get it? So simply using unique function once again, and the array is going to be a row this time. However, if I don't use the second argument, I will get the list once again as it is. The reason being it is trying to do a unique function on a column. So in order to make it work on a row, I will work with the second component of by column and turn in and put the value of false, which will return the unique row. Uh, sorry, not unique row. We will put unique return unique column because all the values are kept in a column. So I'm going to make it true so that it returns everything in a, all the columns that are there, it is returning me the unique value of the column. So I'll get this list as it is in a row itself. Now, what if I wanted that, yes, I want to do a unique column, but at the same time, I want to transpose and show this as a, in a column. Now we're going to mix a function called transpose. So what is transpose? Basically, the work of transpose is to convert a row into a column or a column into a row. So with the transpose function, we will use unique. Array is going to be the one on the top, comma, true, because we want unique columns. And when we close the bracket, we get the sales rep, unique list of the sales rep, but in a column. Let's look at the third application. 
Now, if I want to find out who are the customer who bought only once, meaning that Whole Food might have come back to the business and bought multiple times, but I'm looking for the customers who bought only one time from the business and never bought it again. So in that case, if I'm using unique as it is, I'll just get a list of like what remove duplicate does. I'll just get a list of now the names of the customer who has bought at least one time. But now the requirement is that I don't want who have bought at least one time, but I'm looking for people who have bought only once. So in this case, we are going to use the third argument of the unique function. So I'll leave the second one because by default. And if you look at the options that we have, it says true, return items that appear exactly once. And the second one, which is by default, is return every distinct item. So typically what it does, it returns every distinct item. But now what we want, we want only the ones which is exactly occurring once in my whole list. So I'll go back over here and select true for the last argument. And then we click on enter and we get Home Depot. Home Depot is the only customer who has bought only one time from the business. Let's look at the final one, which is unique combination. Like I said, array can be one column, array could be a row, or it could be a group of rows and columns, depending on what unique value we are looking for. So for example, if I wanted a unique combination of sales rep and customer, so again, typical way of doing it is I would have copied it on the site and selected both the columns to remove duplicate and get my list. Now I don't have to do the extra steps involved. All I have to do is pick up the unique call, unique function array. In this case, I'm going to select both the columns and press enter. And there you go. I have got my unique combination. So if I go ahead and do a sorting, you can't, we can change the array. So that's all that if I want to, so this is how we're going to do it. If you want to get a unique combination of sales rep and customer, we will simply use the function of unique, select the array as multiple columns, and then press enter, we get the unique list over here. So Steven with Whole Food and throughout you will see, we will not get Steven with Whole Food again. Steven is going to make a unique combination with the customer. So I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned. Next, we will talk about the dynamic array function of filter. Thank you. Please subscribe to Ivy's YouTube channel for more of such videos.